the ocean is so bizarre in, in and of itself. There's just so many weird creatures so in the many. ocean. It's such an alien environment to us as, as terrestrial mammals. So in the same way that a, a forest with birds and trees and bugs that are all interacting is a, is a living system, the ocean's the same way. It's not only full of life, but it's all interacting together in a, in a connected way. Mysterious, perfectly aligned holes on Atlantic Ocean. The Gulf of Cambay is a large body of water off India's western coast. It's home to numerous key seaports, trading routes, and an ancient sunken metropolis that predates any other civilization discovered there. The Indus civilization was thought to be the oldest in the area, stretching back 5,300 years. However, in 2001, a group of marine scientists used sonar to explore the Gulf's bottom. They were astounded to discover organized clusters of geometrical shapes soon after sending specially prepared ships. Researchers brought up various old artifacts and discovered genuine residences, baths, and a granary underwater to further investigate the unusual discoveries. The age of the piece of wood they discovered, coupled with tools and bones, astounded them. It turned out to be 9,500 years old. Some scholars are skeptical that this is a proof of a genuine, unknown ancient civilization. After all, there used to be forest in that location, and that piece of wood may simply be a piece of wood. Still, if that city was established that long ago, it would change history. In today's video, we'll look at the perplexing holes discovered on the Atlantic Ocean floor and how they appear to have been created by people. So make sure to watch until the conclusion to learn more about them. But before we begin, subscribe to our channel. So as technology advanced, it became easier for humans to investigate the environment within enormous bodies of water. It's a fact that just 5% of the ocean has been explored, with the remainder still unknown, and that many expeditions are taking place over time. Explorers have uncovered a series of unexplained, perfectly matched holes punched into the seafloor around 1.6 miles or 2.6 kilometers below the ocean's surface, and they have no idea who or what produced them. The unusual holes were discovered by the crew of the NOAA's Okeanos Explorer vessel while investigating the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, a mostly undiscovered portion of the seafloor that is part of the world's longest mountain range. The holes form a straight line and appear at regular intervals, surrounded by little mounds of sediment. This isn't the first time holes have been discovered in the area. In 2004, two marine scientists from the United States National Marine Fisheries Service discovered odd hollows in the ocean floor during a dive. These holes have previously been reported from the region, but their origin is unknown, NOAA researchers posted on Facebook. While they appear virtually human-made, the small heaps of sediment surrounding the holes give the impression that they were excavated by something. Scientists claimed in 2004 that the holes were created by an organism living in or sifting through the seafloor silt, but no one has witnessed such organisms create them, therefore their exact origins are unknown. Under the NOAA Post Facebook page, public speculation ranged wildly. From fractures in the floor's surface caused by seeping gas, to undersea human craft looking for wealth, to ants, aliens, and even starfish doing cartwheels. The unsolved enigma is reminiscent of an underwater golden brick road to Atlantis, discovered in May by ocean explorers on top of an underwater mountain in Hawaii. The odd pattern was constructed by heating and cooling of the seafloor caused by successive volcanic eruptions, according to scientists. The finding was reported on July 23rd, and photographs show the dots forming nearly straight lines or trails or designs. Ocean exploration is at a loss for words. The dive on July 23rd reached a 1.7 mile depth while visiting the summit of an undersea volcano north of the Azores. The discoveries were carefully recorded using a remotely controlled camera. NOAA shared photographs of the holes, which were discovered in an otherwise flat, sandy surface. Scientists encouraged the public to submit suggestions, but respondents raised further concerns, including some who wondered if the holes were caused by someone gathering core samples. The enjoyable task elicited numerous comments. I'm not claiming it's aliens, but it's aliens, one individual wrote. Another speculated that these are minor fissures through which gases can escape. 
It looks like sandblasts that occur after earthquakes, the user stated. This seems to me like sediments falling through or water coming up from a fissure in a geological shelf or cave roof, added a third. A previously unknown crab species that hides in rectangular tunnels and hunts in linear packs, waiting for victims to fall into their grasp, a fourth suggested. It's always been difficult to understand how such objects got into these bodies of water, but how would you react to an ancient railway laying on the ocean floor? A scuba diver was charting the ocean floor off the coast of New Jersey in 1985. He was using a magnetometer to detect metallic things on the seafloor. As he went to examine, he received two massive signals indicating that he had discovered something very large and highly metallic. Instead, to his surprise, he came across an actual train wreck. And the two engines he observed standing on the seabed were from the middle of the 19th century. Following that, there was quite a commotion around the locomotives. Nobody knew what the 1860s trains were doing in the middle of the ocean, but there was an even more perplexing reality. There was no evidence that they were ever exported or even produced in the first place. There were no shipwrecks in the vicinity during the time. It's still unknown how they got there to this day. The most widely held belief is that they were being transported from Boston to New York when a storm struck. The trains were most likely swept off the barge that was transporting them and ended up on the ocean floor. The mysterious holes discovery was made as part of the Voyage to the Ridge 2022 expedition, which took place from May to September 2022 on the NOAA ship Okeanos Explorer and included mapping operations and remotely operated vehicle dives, ROV, to collect baseline information about unexplored and poorly understood deep water areas of the Charlie Gibbs Fracture Zone, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, and Azores Plateau. A series of deep water dives were also conducted between Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands, expanding on prior NOAA ocean exploration work in the region in 2015, 2018, and March and April of 2022. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge, or MAR, which stretches 16,000 kilometers, 10,000 miles, across the Atlantic Ocean, is the world's largest mountain range and one of the planet's most famous geological features. Where magma supplies heat as it rises to the seafloor, spectacular hydrothermal vents can occur. Because the majority of it is underwater, much of it remains relatively undiscovered. The MAR is prone to earthquakes due to active tectonic spreading, according to NOAA. Hydrothermal vents can arise when magma supplies heat as it rises to the bottom. These vents are known to be home to a variety of chemosynthetic ecosystems. However, little is known about life at these sites when the vents die or about what life exists beyond the vents further away from the rift zone. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge runs 10,000 miles from north to south and is considered the world's longest mountain range. Yet, unless you're a professional diver, chances are you've never seen it. This ridge lies deep beneath the Atlantic Ocean between the Americas and Africa. Because the submarine mountain range is relatively undiscovered, there are many secrets to be discovered there. And one of them, peculiar little holes in the seabed set in straight lines at equal intervals, has lately come to light. They could be natural structures, but the small mounds of sediment surrounding them suggest that they were excavated for unknown causes. Scientists discovered comparable holes several hundred kilometers distant, but neither team was able to peer inside. Researchers collected samples from the mountains for testing, but for the time being, the truth about those mysterious holes remains unknown. While Vecchioni and Berkstead were unable to determine the source of the holes or how they were made, they hypothesized that the raised sediment may indicate excavation by an organism living in the sediment or digging and removal, possibly by a feeding appendage of a large animal on the sediment surface. They described the holes as Lebensburen, which translates to life traces and refers to patterns in surface sediments caused by bioturbation or the disturbance of sediment by living organisms. These Lebensburen are similar to ichnofossils found in deep sea rocks. The ultimate cause of the holes is still unknown, and the unknowns we encounter are frequently as deep and unfathomable as the ocean itself. However, with each expedition to map and explore ocean depths, we learn more about this ecosystem that is so important to all of us. So this was all about the perplexing holes aligned at the Atlantic Ocean. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. We'll see you in the following video.